Moving on to the 14th question, that is to use Pythagorean theorem. It is to solve problems involving right angles. Whenever we have a right triangle, then only we can use Pythagorean theorem. Now we will look at some problems. Now these are very basic problems. Here, you need, everything is given to you. See the 90 degrees mentioned, this dimension, this dimension is given. You need to find the perimeter. To find the perimeter, you just have to add all the sides up. But here the hypotenuse, hypotenuse is the biggest side and it is always opposite to 90 degree. So here this hypotenuse is unknown, x. So we have this formula, hypotenuse squared will be equal to the sum of the square of other two sides. That means 12 squared plus 16 squared. You can directly put this in calculator and get the answer if you want. Otherwise, you can take square root on both the sides. It will be square root here and here. This cancels. X will remain. Here, you can just put this in calculator. It will be, I mean, it's fine. You can do this calculation, but it will save a lot of time in calculator. So take out your calculators now. All you do is the square root, 12 squared. That's 144 and 16 squared. The answer is 20. Here, x is 20. Now, what about the perimeter? This is not the answer. This is the hypotenuse value. This is 20. So, perimeter is sum of all the sides. It will be 20 plus 12 plus 16. The answer will be 40, sorry, 40, 48. Okay. It's 20 plus 30, 32, 48. Okay, that's the answer. So that's it. Just add up all the sides. But one was unknown. You need to find it and add it. That's it. That's the answer. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot the area now. That's the perimeter. See, we have done the perimeter part. That was 48. We just now found out. Now, area. Look at this. It's a triangle. It's a right angle triangle. So whatever is this, that's the height, the vertical distance. So what you know is the formula half, base and height. Now half is 1 by 2. What is the base? Base is this base. Height is always the vertical line. Okay. Base is 12 and the height is 16. So you can put this in calculator directly. It's 12 times 8. It will be 80 plus 16. That is 96 is the answer. Yes, that's the correct answer. That's how we solve it. This is the area. Now, the units of area will always be in unit squared. Now, here there's no unit mentioned. So, we can just write unit squared. Because area, you're multiplying units times unit. So, you're multiplying. It's if it's meter, meter. So, it'll be meter squared. Now, whereas the perimeter is just adding up meter plus meter. It doesn't matter how many times you sub add meters. It'll be the same only when you multiply it powers up so this is the answers please do try solving the other problems by yourselves the next problem is again another very easy problem but only difference over here is the height is not given carefully look here the perimeter can be easily solved just add the sides add 13 plus 13 plus 10 which is 26 plus 10 that is 36 this is the perimeter but height is base into height. This is the horizontal height. The area. Area is this. This is the perimeter. Just add the sides up. Now here the problem is we don't know the vertical height. The horizontal height. Uh, vertical, sorry. Okay, that one is unknown. So how do you find that? By Pythagoras theorem. This is the hypotenuse. So we know 13 square will be equal to square root. Sorry will be equal to some of the other two squares. Let me keep the height unknown x square plus 10 square, not 10. See, now this is another mistake which I did. Look here, 10 is the total height. So the base will be phi and phi. So I need this triangle. See, I'm just focusing on this triangle now. 13, phi and x, phi squared. Now what you do is solve this. It's 169 minus 25 equals x squared. Now, it will be 149 minus 5. It is 144 equals x squared. Take the square root on both the sides. 12 squared is 144. So it's 12. x equals 12. Okay. Here the height is 12. So now we can apply this formula half. Base is the entire base 10 into 12. 
Now, 2, 1 times 2, 6 times. The answer is 60. Now, whatever is the unit, unit square, this is just in units, okay? This is the answer, 36 and 60. We can see over here, 36 and 60, the area and the perimeter. The 36, the perimeter, 60 is the area. That's how we solve these problems, which are very easy. I hope this is clear. Now, what about this? Find the perimeter and area of each figure. How do we do this? Here we know this height. We know this this uh, this length. This is the height, length, base, anything. Now this is over here 10, 4, 8. But now look carefully. This is 90 degrees. That means if I draw a straight line over here. At 4, sorry, it, it should be a straight line. This would be 4, right? What is the remaining length? 6. 10 minus 4 is 6. And what is this height? 8. Now, from this, I can find the hypotenuse x. It will be x is equal to square root 6 squared plus 8 squared. That's it. You can use the calculator and easily find this and then add it up. So, that's it. Okay. Now, this is okay. We will just do it uh, quickly. One second. It's 36 plus 64. That is 100 root is 10. x is 10. Okay. This length is 10. Now, I'll just clear this up. I'll write over here sorry 10 the slant height and now whatever this line was there you can understand this one is around the height which this is a triangle now and this is a rectangle can you see that difference this point divides this into two shapes a triangle a rectangle now what is the area of the left side rectangle tr a triangle half into base into height the base we found out was six this is four so use this over here plus what is the rectangle height uh, sorry not height area I mean the area it's pretty late over here now when I'm recording this that's why um, I'm just uh, you know uh, missing a lot of terms I'm sorry for that I apologize now yeah this is six this is four now what is the area of the rectangle it is base into height or length into breadth okay now half Let's only focus on the triangle now. Base is 6. The height is height is how much? 8. This is the, okay? 8. Plus, what is the base uh, for the triangle rectangle? It's 4 into 8. Now, why are we not using this 10? We are using this only for the perimeter. If you do the perimeter, just add up all the sides. 10, this entire thing is 10 plus 8 plus 4. That's the reason we found that, okay? It is 20, 32 over here. But what about the area? Area, this will be considered as a triangle, this entire portion, okay? And this one is a rec uh, rectangle, this one. So that's it. Half, base is 6, height is 8. Now here, base and length, base and height or anything. So now over here, it will be 1 time, 3 times, 8, 16, 24 plus 8, 4 are 32. So here the answer will be 56 units squared. So this is the area. Now you can see the area was 56 and the perimeter, we found this to be 10 and then the perimeter is 32. That's it. Very easy, very straightforward. Please do try other problems as well. But now we move on to the real world problems. Here, you can see the sides of the triangle are measured x, x plus pi and 25. Find the measure. If the measure of the longest side is 25, find the x value, which will make the triangle a right triangle. Now they have told these sides are of a right triangle. So whatever it is, there is a 90 degree. And the longest measure is 25. That means that's the hypotenuse. The other two can be over here and over here. That's fine. How do we find x? Let's use the Pythagoras theorem. The hypotenuse square must be equal to the sum of the squares of these both. x plus 5, the whole square. Okay. Now substitute the value. Uh, solve this. Here what happens? It will be 25 squared. It's a huge number. Now my mind is not so strong to do it. Oh wait, I'll tell you how we can easily solve this. Let's use the calculators. Here, just substitute 25 squared equals alpha x squared plus x plus phi the whole squared, okay? Shift and solve, you'll get the answer 50. 
Now here you know there is a pi, uh, square that means it's quadratic. Um, but you can directly use this it's fine you will get the correct answer in the calculator because it will take only the positive answer so x is equal to 15 here but in reality if you solve this let's use the uh, i will just solve it over here now let's use 25 square and let's try to simplify 25 square is it 6 uh, 25 into 25 625 yes now here let me just 625 equals x squared plus let me use the identity it will be x squared plus 2ax that will be 10x plus 25 now you simplify this bring all the terms to one side this is 0 get this to the other side x squared x squared is 2x squared plus 10x minus 625 plus 25 is minus 600 now we will use the calculator and use mode 5 3 here when you do mode 5 and 3 you're gonna get quadratics let's put 2 now you do not need to remove the common terms out because we just want the x value doesn't matter uh, 2 10 and lastly we have minus 600 what is the answer 15 and minus 20 look the length the measure cannot be negative so we only take the positive answer so therefore the x value we take is 15 but if you directly put this equation in the calculator you will get the correct answer itself you will not get the raw, negative answer because when they solve they just take the positive value okay so directly you get it now whatever it is x value is 15 so what is uh, the x okay they just asked to find the x value the x value is 15 that's it see they're getting the two answers, but we can we cannot take this negative value, so it's only 15. That's how we do this problem. Now let's look at the other one, precision. The sides of, okay, I remember this problem. The sides of a triangle are measure of 2x, 8, and 12. If the measure of the longest side is 2x, what values of x makes the triangle acute? I hope you remember we had solved problems like this in the acute obtuse and right angle when we were solving which type of triangle it is now what we do in such cases i will just write the pythagoras once if this is 90 degree this is c and a b okay the sides i thought this is c c square equals a square plus b square now this is a right angle triangle but we can find whether this is let me just uh, whether it's less than 90 or whether it's more than 90 when it is less than 90 this becomes an acute angle okay because no angle is more than 90 in this all are less than 90 this is obtuse because this is more than 90 you can see 90 is in the middle if it comes inside it's acute if it goes outside it is obtuse so this is obtuse this is acute now this is a right angle when is it acute when c square is less than a square plus b square it is acute and when c square is greater than a square plus b square it is obtuse this is the answers now why do we need this now we don't need all we have just finding for acute triangle so we need only this one acute so here now what do we do over here here all you need to do is see they have told this longest side is 2x now let's solve directly by putting solve for x by using this formula 2x the old square equal to let me just equate it now 8 square plus 12 square now i'll use the calculator for uh, saving time you can try this manually it's not a big deal but let's just use calculator for now use the bracket sorry bracket 2x square to x squared equals 8 squared plus 12 squared shift and solve what is the answer okay it's 7.211 let me just check okay it's written as 2 root 13 now if you see 2 root 13 is 7.211 that's fine because your option this is an mcq so it's fine you know you will have the answer anyways available you can just solve all the four options you'll get the correct one now what does this indicate this indicates x is equal to 2 root 13 right x is this now x value 
what basically we understand from this is the one second now here this value x is equal to 2 root 13 but in reality it is x must be less than 2 root 13 isn't it why because where was the x value uh, placed over here if you solve this with, with inequalities you will come to know this is the inequality will stay and this you have solved over here x cannot exceed 2 root 13 if it exceeds 2 root 13 it will be uh, not an acute angle if it is acute this hypotenuse must be less than uh, you know this value right so whatever x value must be less than that found out value so x must be less than 2 root 13 i hope this is clear what is the hypotenuse value the biggest length it is 2x now this is the biggest length so it must be greater than the next biggest length do you agree it must be greater than 12 now why we are doing all this if you have noticed over here we are finding the values of x that will make it acute so x value always must be less than 7.211 or 2 root 13 then that is acute but can you take x value as less than means negative value or 0 or 1 no we have to give a, a proper interval right so way what value must x be greater than we know 2x is the see over here this is 2x this is 8 and this is 12 we know this must be greater than the second biggest value because it doesn't make sense if you tell 8. Uh, it should not be greater than 8. It should be greater than this one. Okay. Because if it's 9 also it's wrong. So we write 2x is greater than 12. Now what is the x value greater than? It's 2 divided by 2 divided by 2. It's 6. Okay. So x value must be greater than 6. From the Pythagoras theorem we found that x value should be less than 2 root 13. So the interval is x must be greater than 6 x is greater than 6 but less than 2 root 13 that that these values will make it hyper uh, acute uh, acute triangle this is the thing i hope this is clear see over here basically we use the pythagoras theorem and we find the x value but we need to understand the x value the hypotenuse is less than so whatever x value you get that x value must be less than that see x is less than this given found out value if it exceeds then it doesn't make sense it will be obtuse angle if it's equal to this then it is a uh, right angle it can't be equal to this it should be less than this but it must in the same time be greater than six otherwise also it won't be obtuse angle so this is the way we solve it now here we have another real world problem let's read it a redwood tree in a national park is 20 meters tall. After it is struck by lightning, the tree breaks and falls over as shown in the figure. The top of the tree lands at a point 16 feet from the center line. Okay, 16 feet, this is the length. A park ranger wants to know the height of the remaining stump of the tree. The ranger lets X represent the height of the stump, JK. Uh, jk okay explain how the ranger can write an expression for the length of jl then write the equation that can be used to solve the problem okay so now he wants to find the ranger in the sense the forest department ranger wants to know the height of this remaining stump the original tree all this was totally 20 but now this 20 is fallen down some part is fallen down from 20 can you see this it's cut down from lightning now this much is x see the total was 20 but now we know the part which is remaining this part is x so what is the remaining height over here what is this height this it'll be total 20 minus x so we can write this as 20 minus x this is 16 we will just use the pythagoras theorem and then we can easily solve it so how do you do that pythagoras theorem this square 20 minus x the whole square equals this two sides x squared plus 16 squared now, just to save time, I'll directly use the calculator. Here, all you need to do is type it out. 2 minus alpha x. I forgot to put the brackets. Don't forget the brackets. Put them properly. Equals x squared again plus 16 squared. And shift and solve, you'll get the answer 3.6. So, the answer is, um, first of all, here they have just asked you to find uh, 
you know what is this value and what is the expression so what we wrote this expression that's it 16 squared plus x squared equals 20 minus x squared in the next part they have told to solve the answer is 3.6 okay in the next part part a part b but we did it together this is one answer and this is the second part answer you can see it's 3.6 that is the x value it's very simple now we have similar problems i believe uh, no it's not saying like that but anyways let's solve this one quickly you can try going ahead by yourselves now valerie and sanjia are taking out a garden that has one pair of opposite sides measuring 30 feet okay one pair of opposite sides and other pair okay so it might be it is a rectangle okay this imagine this is 30 30 and this is 40 40 how can and they're using only a 60 foot tape okay 50, 60 foot tape measure how can they be sure that their garden is rectangle draw and model the garden with diagonal t okay we have to draw diagonal t okay and the p value over here p is equal to 30 and q value is 40 okay this is the values now this is the model that's it that's the answer for the first one let's just check the model okay they have just changed the side but it doesn't matter okay now i know this should have been smaller and this should have been bigger for my dimensions but it doesn't matter it's a rectangle so opposite sides are equal so even this whether you take this 40 40 30 30 or 30 30 40 40 as i've done it's the same thing they didn't mention any uh, up and down or anything so this is the answer but well, this is the first answer now if the garden is a rectangle what must be true about p q and t okay if the garden is rectangle then over here the t is the longest side that's the hypotenuse all the four will be what 90 degree that's the basic things let's see if the garden is a rectangle then the sides p and okay they form a right triangle see over here this is 90 degrees isn't it because they are forming a rectangle then there are four right angles which i told just a while ago and the diagonal is the hypotenuse yes i mentioned that and this is a right angle triangle with these two legs legs means if we have a triangle like this i'll just draw a triangle so imagine this is a triangle right this is 90 degrees so this is hypotenuse other two sides are called legs of the triangle okay other than the hypotenuse those both are the legs over here this is the hypotenuse so these both are legs p and 40 q that is q value and now the last part over here San, sanjia sanjia measures the diagonal and finds that it is 50 feet long this diagonal is there enough information to uh, you know find it's a rectangle okay we will just use pythagoras theorem over here and find this t value so we know 40 and 30 right so square root of 40 square plus 30 square must be equal to let's use the calculator over here so here we have square root 40 square plus 30 square and what's the answer 50 yes absolutely so we got the diagonal also 50 that means yes it should be a right angle triangle and only if it's a rectangle that is possible so this is a rectangle yes the garden is a rectangle okay and the explanation is given over here about the pythagoras that's how we solve it. See, these are just understanding problems. So take your time, understand the concept, and then solve it up. Okay, now this is very simple. They have given just use Pythagoras theorem. What's the hypotenuse? X squared must be equal to X minus 4 the whole square plus 8 squared. So directly put it in the calculator, you will get the answer. Instead of solving it in detail, you can see over here refer for this. I'll show you in calculator as well. Here, all you need to do is alpha x squared plus equal sorry equal to that's the hypotenuse alpha x minus w sorry sorry four squared plus eight squared shift and solve for x the answer is 10 that's it therefore x is 10 now same thing over here you can just change the values and try the hypotenuse is again x squared but this is x minus three the whole square and this is instead of 8 we have 9 so shift and solve the answer would be 15 that's it same thing here as well but now here the hypotenuse changes 
it's x plus 1 the whole square and here it's just x square and the last number is two root of 2 square that means it's just 2 basically 2 okay close the bracket here and uh, the answer is sorry you should press shift and solve then equal to it's 0 0.5 that's half that's the answer that's it and that's the end of this topic uh, it's a pretty simple topic if you understand Pythagoras theorem it's easy just make sure if it's a real world problem understand what is given write it down draw the figure and then solve it up otherwise just remember Pythagoras theorem opposite to 90 degrees always hypotenuse apply the Pythagoras theorem and easily solve it and use your calculator to directly get the answers as well so that's it for this question